Alright guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you another video cooking for Kyle. And what I'm going to do today is we're going to cook some chicken tenders, some green beans. They have a, a new green bean recipe I'm going to show you. It's super easy. And then some sweet potatoes. I grabbed all of this at Trader Joe's. It was inexpensive. This is a quick recipe. So I'm going to take you through the steps and how to make each piece. We're going to start with the sweet potato. All right, so we're back right now. First thing we're going to do is cook the sweet potatoes because they take the longest to cook. So if you take a look right here, all I'm doing is I'm slicing them this way like that, and then I'm throwing them in the pan right here. And I put two good sized scoops of extra virgin coconut oil in the pan. Okay, so I'm going to cook those in the pan with coconut oil and that's all. I'm going to uh, finish chopping them and I'm going to put them on the stove at about a medium temperature with a lid on top and it'll probably take about 20-25 minutes to, uh, to cook. The pan's going to be very full so if you have less than that, um, I'm going to probably cook six or eight sweet potatoes in there sliced up. So if you're only doing two or three, um, you can cook it on even a lower temp and for a little bit shorter. But the amount that we're cooking, it'll probably take about 20 to 25 minutes. Next we're going to do is prepare the green beans. So now we're ready for the green beans. The sweet potatoes are on the stove cooking. All I did is take two bags of these Trader Joe's trimmed and cleaned green beans. They're ready to go, no prep. Open them, dump them in a big pan just like this. And then I take a half a cup of slivered almonds, sliced or slivered almonds. Put them over the green beans like that. And then I take four ounces uh, it's probably about a cup and a half of um, mushrooms, and I'll put them in as well. Then what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a, a decent amount of olive oil in the pan as well. I, I did that previously. And then the final thing is uh, a bit of maple syrup. So I'll just put a touch of maple. Um, I, don't, I don't usually measure it. You can leave it out if you want, but a couple circles like that. Just a little bit goes a long way. Finish it off with some sea salt and some black pepper to taste. And then what I'll do is again I'll put a top on this, cook it on maybe medium. This cooks for about 10 or 15 minutes. Cook it a little bit uh, lower and slower along with the sweet potatoes. And the final thing we'll do is prep the chicken. All right, so here we are. The final piece to this meal is the chicken, the most important part. So take a look right here. Um, what we have is free-range Trader Joe's organic free-range chicken. These are chicken breast tenders, or you can also use chicken breast cutlets. They're a little bit smaller. I like them. They cook better. And again, whenever you cook, make sure you cook extra. Here's about three pounds, just under three pounds of chicken. You always want to have extra for meals the next day and following that. And so for seasoning, all I did is use this double A bursari. Again, you've seen me use this before. This is the white one, very good for fish and for chicken. And then I added a little bit of black pepper, and the bottom of the pan has a good amount of olive oil. This is a lot of chicken in here. I want it to stay moist. Don't want it to get too dried out. So I'm going to cook this right, right on the stove, and I always use a little bit extra olive oil just to keep the chicken moist. So we'll be back in a couple minutes and we'll show you the finished product. All right, so here we are back with the finished product. Take a look right here. We got the sweet potatoes, the chicken and the green beans. Super easy recipe. Uh, feel free to email me if you have any questions and I'll be sure to post the recipe on my blog as well. And as always, in my Cooking for Cow videos, when I'm bringing you some of Cow Corver's favorite recipes, I always try to wear one of his sear shirts. If you like this shirt, please check out SearOutfitters.com and order one. His shirt company, Sear Clothing, um, goes to fund his foundation, and they have some great projects they're doing all over the country uh, to help underprivileged youth and handicapped children. So, again, check out SearOutfitters.com. Buy a shirt from Kyle. Thanks for checking this video out. I hope you enjoyed the recipe, and we'll be back soon to show you more of Kyle Corver's favorite recipe.